Hey guys, I'm Charles Neal. You know, I initially thought this, this is kind of a little bit of a simple video. Because what we're going to talk about is a roundover bit. I dare say a roundover bit is probably, I don't, I guarantee you any woodworker anywhere has got roundover bit probably the most used router bit on the market today. And it does exactly what it implies. It rounds things over. And you know, but it also, you can, you know, by altering things a little bit, you can get a little different profiles and whatever. And um, you know, and one of the inspirations for this video is people coming through the classes and things like that, you start changing router bearings and they're kind of looked at you like what in the world they don't realize you could oh yeah big time and you know if you look around there's manufacturers everywhere and they will make uh you know like this is called an accessory kit some of them will call them repair kits whatever and basically what it is is it's all kind of different bearing sizes and whatever so no matter whether it's a round over bit or whatever you can alter the size or the alter the, the depth or the cut and whatever and just you know get a lot more profiles and again roundover bits <laughs> you know here's a eighth inch radius they got them in a sixteenth radius and you know a lot of scroll sawers and whatever out here they also make it with a little brass pivot on it if you will point on it and it's only about an eighth of an inch and you take it with a sixteenth of an inch radius and you're scroll sawing or whatever just to create a nice little round over on that edge does a beautiful job and they make them slightly larger <laughs> um, everybody sees this monstrosity says you don't use that in a handheld do you and well no he said they come in all kind of different sizes you know, you can get sets of them like this, you know. And in this case, this one has got uh, bearings in it to convert it to a beading bit. Everything's there. So what we're going to look at is basically taking a simple round over and by altering depth and changing a bearing, we can go from a half bead to a full bead and just change the whole look of what we're doing. All right, the most common use, just a simple round over. You know. And again, by simply lowering the bit, what we're doing here is we're picking up a little bit of a step in it to start a half beat because we're going to be using the cut side. Okay, now by altering or changing the bearing to a smaller bearing, and I prefer to do it in the, in the router just because then I can use the router wrench to hold it, but <coughs> Simply remove the set screw. You see this little washer? That keeps the bearing from getting into running tight against the uh, bit shank and lets it spin freely. And again, always put your little washer back. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to be picking up this cutting edge right here to create another step. This is our bead.
Finishing. What does a round over bed have to do with finishing? Well, let me explain. This is just a little trim router and I'm real prone to have a 332nd or even a 16th of an inch radius bit in it. This one's a little larger than that at the moment. And I go over everything for the most part uh, to understand that. You know, you can also take a piece of sandpaper and do what we call break an edge. And basically what you're doing is you're creating just a small radius on this. You know, a lot of woodworkers uh, like to create really sharp, crisp edges. And I, I'm not a fan. A really hard, sharp edge, number one, doesn't feel good to the hand. But the second thing is, particularly if you're doing a spray finish or something, finishes have to flow. And if you've got a very sharp edge, that finish likes to come in like this, that one's kind of button the other, if this and the edge and the top. And, but if you've got a little round over on there, just a little radius, it allows the finish to flow over. And if you've ever, the mid coat sanding thing, you sand in between coat, you touch an edge, you cut your color off. If you do a little bit of a round or just something slight, it does not detract. And, but what happens is, as you, as you build your coats up, those coats will build on that edge, give you some protection, but it also kind of reestablishes that crisper edge, and it, it makes for a much better feel, and in my opinion, a much better look. But it sure makes a difference in the, how easy it finishes, how durable the edges are, and how much better your finish will flow. You know, if I've done a tabletop, for example, and I've got a big routed profile or whatever, the bottom edge of that table is not getting a profile. But I'm going to take that little 16th or even a 332nd roundover bit, and I'm just going to run around it. Just give it a little bit smoother edge, a little bit better feel, okay? I'm Charles Neal. I'll catch you later.